Hey, what's up, Emerald Coast? Welcome to the Friday, May 29th show. It is Friday. Show. It was a short week, yeah. and we have nothing to talk about. So, hey, it was good talking to you. <laughs> well, that, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. There's a lot going on, RJ. It's another week. It's an this extra is, weekend in it is, May. It is a great weekend. It's gonna there's, there's so much going to be beautiful weather. On. we got a little rain that's been coming in and out, but it's going to be pretty. Crab Island's going to be nuts. The crab, I bet you we have the best last weekend of May, tourist-wise, yeah. than we've ever had. And, I uh, mean, the ripple effect of people cooped up, and we're going to talk about that with our guests today, but the ripple effect of uh, the people around the country cooped up, and they want, which is the premise to this show, which is that sugar white sand. Yeah. Right? Crab yep. Island, the Emerald yep. Coast Beaches, uh, Noriega Point. Well, and I will, on Monday, I'll probably be giving the Biloxi report, because we're doing a day trip over the Biloxi. What? We're going to see what happens on that. Now, so. you know I can count cards. <laughs> do you, did you, do you, am, I, am I going on this trip, or do I have to stay at work? Yeah, i got to stay at work. You must work on I your must place. work. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so uh, lots of things going on, but right now let's go ahead and take care of Seamus Plugs. Now, if you're watching us now, you're watching us live on the Emerald Coast TV Facebook page. We certainly do appreciate it. But we're also live on YouTube, Roku, and Amazon Fire at the same time. Awesome. But we do uh, ask you, if you don't mind, head on over to the What's Up Emerald Coast Facebook page and Put a little like on that as well because we're trying to build up that that page so that we can actually start streaming directly to it uh we just happen to have more uh, right now it's only our moms on there we need yeah. more people <laughs> yeah we need some more people why does it always start with moms that like your page mom likes thanks us. mom that's it yeah then uh you know and also we were talking about crab island this is going to be pretty busy this week hey you look know, at that we've got a up and coming website here that uh we're actually kind of shopping around for got a new website coming and we got a new sponsor coming that makes a particular food item in the shape of a triangle yeah. it starts as a circle yeah uh but uh yeah when i get done today i put a video out yesterday of me buried in insulation as i'm de remodeling a building but i you know i'm going until some that, people come on and say like hell, yeah. I, now again we're going to get to our new sp our, our guest today as yeah. we go to sponsors maybe down the road he becomes a sponsor. It, now I'm just planting that seed not, yeah. because you know the show needs sponsors, <laughs> and I see him laughing. So, I, so we'll start. We'll work this deal out. You if know? anything else, I think you might have a product again. The yeah. idea of drinking, the yeah. idea of we fishing. We might have to give away a product or two. But at the end of the day, we got to have some sponsors yeah. to make this work. Or you can't go to Biloxi, and I just got to keep making pizza. So, yeah. uh, if you want to sponsor the show, either reach out to RJ and I uh, on Facebook. Actually, or, that's, that's the goal next week. Yeah, is getting some sponsors. I'm going Are you going to, to get I'm, us I'm a, a casino? Sponsor. I'm going to chase sponsors. Oh yeah. That's it. I'm going big time, baby. Business trip, right yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Break my heart. Break my heart. <laughs> hey, okay. uh, like we do every day, we kind of point out a national day or two, uh, and we. Usually this get is these. bringing life back to normal. These are the yeah. things that we so. used to celebrate and have forgotten, or didn't even know they existed, or we've forgotten. And actually, I found out there's. Uh -oh. It really doesn't right. take very much to get so a there national we go. day. But uh, we do want to thank National Day Calendar for uh, providing us with the information for what we need for today. So, first one right off the bat, there's always food. There's food. National Coca Vinde. It's like a, uh, it's a it's French too chicken. Yeah, it's too complicated. Marinated that's, thing. It's a, so. That's like foreign. I mean, is this the American Coca calendar? De Coca I mean, we're an international show. I get it, but well, th th this is the American calendar. That's just too much. It's French. I go. I fall back on freedom fries. French. I fall back on freedom it's fries. Is too much. So is bien. whatever that is. No, next bon one. Bon appetit. No, next one. That's too, too much. <laughs> and. Uh, Actually, okay, this is the good. National Paperclip Day. Can't live without them. Well, you know, and it's you know it's been around since the nineteen sixty-seven, eighteen sixty-seven. Really? But the most, and there were like fifty different patents from there to the eighteen nineties. But the one that gets used the most today is called, called the Gem Paperclip. 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 Gem <laughs> don't answer that. Don't answer that. Yeah, you. You devious. Yeah, doing the wrong things with a paperclip. <laughs> okay, what's no the idea what he's talking about? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. I want to just go ahead and uh, that's pop, it. Pop we only got two things that I saw in the Some daily French news. chicken that's dish it. and paperclips. Oh, it you must know, be. A new, however, you know, it must be summertime. What I it's found like get out outside is that unless you can't make a national day about a person unless you get congressional approval. That's true. But you could just go to nationaldaycalendar.com and put something in and pay for an advertising package. It's like two to four grand. Let's, uh, now we're talking, how much? Two to four grand. So, how many chilling reels do we have to sell? <laughs> we can make that a national <laughs> day. I'm sorry, what's a chilling reel? Yeah, uh, yeah so we, bring we, them on. We, 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 bring them on. <laughs> we'll hear about that. Uh, but we had talked about the daily news. You know, you know, we're, I'm a 
daily. You, I'm a hard copy guy. So. Okay. But there was something on the digital this morning that I saw that was interesting. And I actually saw this in the news last night. You know, the Wahoo Stadium has been trying to be really creative about how they're using their facilities since they can't play any games. Last month, they actually took some uh, disc golf and put disc golf uh, in the baskets stadium? In, the, in the field so people okay. can go play disc golf. At the end of the day, yeah. we need things to do. Right. Right. We the people need things but to do in our But now they've actually taken all the locker rooms, divided them up, and they've created some Airbnb. So you could stay uh, in a baseball locker room. You could stay in the second baseman's locker? <laughs> no. I think I'll pass. Yeah. That I think really I'll pass. Fun. That's a little... T- I, I like using the stadium for some other fun stuff as we all start to get back together and do what we're doing. <laughs> well, okay. and then... Um, yeah. There was a uh, response from only because our, the, the, only because we're local what, yeah. to this show. Well, Come you know, on. everybody knows everybody's been so cooped up. They've been watching anything on Netflix. This, the Tiger King had been Not a me. phenomenal no nope. binge watching thing. Okay, if you say and the so. fact that uh, it actually took place like the arrest of the gentleman over well, there in Gulf Breeze. That's that way, but that's okay. That's right. That's why you're a tech well, guy. Based on that beach over there. Okay, fair in, enough. I got us. No, okay, you're right. So go it's, ahead. It is that way. Yeah, it's that way. So I got it. Uh, <laughs> Well, That's why I sit in this so, chair. So uh, one of the staff members at the, at the Navarre liquor store sent him a greeting card in prison. Okay. And he responded back. Okay. And he says he's got like 10 movie offers kind of ideas that he's doing and stuff like Make that. Make it and they, stop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Make like, it stop. <laughs> That's why I binge watch Game of Thrones. That was way better. I never watched a single Game of Thrones or Tiger King, and I picked Game of Thrones, and I don't regret it. So uh, yesterday there was the saw uh, that some drive tests happening, yeah, yeah. Right over there in um, over the Fort Worth Beach campus, and uh, they're going to continue uh, next week. So next Tuesday, they're going to be in Niceville again over at the college, and and at Thursday they're going to be at the convention center, which is formerly known as the Emerald Coast Convention Center. Yeah, it's now the center. Destined for Walton Beach Convention yeah. Center. That's all right. We'll own that name. What's up, Emerald Coast? We'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep it. Emerald um, Coast. Yeah. You know, I, that's awesome that we're doing that testing, but I just say to people out there, let's still be smart. You got to keep your social Absolutely. distancing. Yeah. You got to um, be cognizant yeah. of it. You know, and be, be conscious when people are a little nervous around wear you. Mask, you're not wearing a mask. You know. People choose to wear a mask because you protect other people. Mm-hmm. So let, let's say you go and take that test and you get a little possibility yeah. you should be wearing a mask. Yeah. I mean, the. the, the Again, we, we can get a whole discussion about the test, and yeah. you know, you, it's only good two days before you're actually starting. Yeah, to do I don't, symptoms. I don't get yeah. the idea of those tests anyway, because yeah. at the end of the day, it, it, you're it's right. Just, it's more or less they just want his numbers to be able. You to You don't put walk on away from that test and go, "I'm negative," and you go hang out at Crab Island with 20 people on a boat and then think, "I'm safe," because yeah. that's not how a virus. Yeah. A virus doesn't care. Yeah. The virus doesn't care. But nonetheless, I'm glad to see we're actually getting some One last some thing before done. we get to our guests here. I thought this was very clever. There was, you know. Coronavirus you, wine. So, you know, wineries have been dealing with the problem that they don't have any restaurants that had been open. They, they lost 40% of, okay. of their delivery business. Okay. So some of them, though, got smart and started becoming very tech savvy and, and social media savvy and went online. And that's what these guys have done over here. And, and you mentioned. So that's not a coronavirus no 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 no. they're just saying that this is wine what this is what business have gone done to start we we talked about about right on the first shows we talked about home delivery of alcohol was up 240 240 percent yeah so uh that scared me reading that as coronavirus wine i mean corona the beer is struggling (laughs) enough as it is uh you know they're getting there's many jokes that you put a lime on there and you know follow your own joke that happens and that's unfortunate for corona uh but uh but that does lead us to uh to what our topic is like last monday because i bet you a corona this guy was on page three of the northwest florida daily news and destin vacationer invents the chill and real i'm like how cool is that and then my next question was what the hell is a chill and real the chill so, reel. So I reached out. Uh, I think I went through Facebook, found him on there, and I said, hey, would you be interested in doing the show? He says, oh, I can't do it today, but how about Friday? There so we go. It's Friday. N- not, without further ado, let's bring on our guest. Hey, it's Mr. Jacob Rutledge. Jacob, how are, how, are how are you? you? How are you? How are you? Where are you? You say you're in, t- in t- outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma? Yeah. Yeah, Sand Springs, Oklahoma. So uh, tell us a little history about your chill and reel, the motivation. And first of all, as a, as a fellow entrepreneur, I commend you on seeing an opportunity to uh, seeing a need that needed to be filled. And uh, when you find one that's near and dear to a lot of people's heart, the idea of drinking a cold beverage and fishing and you combine that. I guarantee you a lot of people have said, you know, we got to come up with something and a way to do it. And you actually did it. 
So tell us a little bit about the history behind your product. Well, uh, I was down in Destin and I'm, I'm out there hanging out in the water with my friends, just drinking a cold beverage, uh, whatever, you, whatever you, whatever you like. Fair. And I looked, there was fish everywhere. And I was like, man, I got to figure out a way to catch those fish. Cause I'm a fisherman at heart. And <laughs> I just, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to drink a beer and catch fish. Uh, <laughs> it's vacation. That's, that is my vacation. Right. So those guys told me, they said, man, if you go out here with a rod, you are going to piss or I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to upset everybody <laughs> out here in the water. Yeah. Yeah. No, you would have pissed them all off. It's okay to say it is the web. So you're golden. You're golden. All right, yeah. You're fine. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So I, I thought about, I thought about what I could do and I went and got some line and, and right here, I, I tied it in, in the bottom hole and would wrap it around the edge of my, my beer can. Huh. And I would pitch it out, spool it off, pitch it out catch a fish and then reel it back in like this right here well i kept spilling my beer there's the problem yeah, there's exactly. the problem, the problem. okay that, that's where i lose that's where you lost me so tell me how you solved the non-spilling of the beer that's what i need to know so, so for two years i did the same thing and my dad was down there with me the next year and he told me he said man you gotta figure out a way that you won't spill your beer and he said if you could do that he said, I'm telling you, you got a million dollar idea. <laughs> so I went home and started working on how I could do it. And I came up with the chilling reel. That the handline fishing reel on the side of your drink insulator. That and is all you do is turn the knob or the, the label in the direction you want to throw and you pitch it out. And As matter of fact, I've, I've got it. I've actually got Here's the footage video. of you doing it. And you are you out here in Destin doing doing this thing? Is that is that yeah, filmed right here on the Emerald Coast? Near Mark Beach, right there. Yeah. So he's he's hand tossing so out. Hand toss. Okay, that eliminates one question I had. You're not throwing the beer hand by itself. <laughs> okay, that's because people have asked me as a bar as an ex bar owner, recovering bar owner. People were asking me, well, how does he do that? But now I see the video and you're hand tossing it. And then you got the reel attached to the to the body of the koozie. Is that is it a, is it essentially a koozie holding it? All right. Uh, and uh, uh, I well, mean, we can't say that word because that's trademark. That is a, but yeah, that is a trademark <laughs> word. That is correct. Thank you for correcting me. It is, it is a device. Insulated device. Insulated cylinder. Yeah, drink insulator. Uh, drink insulator. Thank here's, you. Here's the thing. I mean, I only jumped I forward about me. forty seconds, and he already caught something. Yeah, he well, that's already. the beauty of the Emerald Coast. I mean, this is not edited video. I mean, I jumped forward a little bit for time aspect, but uh, it looks like you've got yourself. It doesn't look like quite like a shark. Though. It's a little, there's a whiting. That's they're, a whiting. They're prominent along the coast. I swim in the Gulf a lot, and they they nip at your feet all day long. That's fantastic. So, <laughs> so let's get to some, st some 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 statistics about your product. What's the, what is the biggest fish you've caught to date with that product? Uh, Right now, the biggest fish we've caught was a 15-pound blue cat. Okay. And, 15 uh, pounds. Now, Holy moly. 15 pounds. Now, mind you, I did not go out there with the 8-pound test line that comes on it. Okay. <laughs> there, that was my second question. That, that was going to be the next question. So, uh, the tackle, is there, is there tackle and accessories available to upgrade your product <laughs> to, to catch well, a 15-pound? Sure, yeah, you just go to go to any tackle shop, and and uh, I use fifty pound braid on there for the the catfish that I'm trying to catch, uh, and then like I'm going down this next week, and I'll be down there for a month. I'm gonna be out there with eighty pound braid. I'm gonna catch a shark. You know, I <laughs> that is be beautiful. Shark. To catch a shark on the You're gonna hand oh, reel my God. a shark. Okay. Aside from me, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get one little tease that you waited two years to figure this out. I got that out of that. Your dad said you need to fit. Your dad. I want to say thanks, Dad. <laughs> two years that you got it. Got it. But that's right. Better late than never. But uh, have you ever? I gotta ask you. So have you ever gone cobia fishing while you were here? I have never been cobia fishing, something I've always wanted to do. Okay, so so here we go. I got a guy. It's one of my side companies. I got a guy. And I got a guy that I'm going to get you out there cobia fishing. But I want to get that hand reel. And then you need, you need better tackle. The minute I see you in a tower drinking your beer and catching a cobia on a chilling reel, That's a lot that is the day you're on national news bigger than this show. Yeah. 
<laughs> you will be on national news because when you latch into a 60 pound cobia, that's going to be fun to watch you. <laughs> and for everybody out there watching you're, right you're, now, you're going to have to add an, something to the cup to put a harness. Yes, you can, you can, yes. You can. Your hand, I'm just, but it can be done. It kind can, of like a safety line. I do of some believe sort. we need your dad back so he can keep this engineering logic in place here. But uh, no, I tease you because. Uh, the the, the, the the conversation that comes out of a product like this is amazing, and I commend you. The fact that you put together two simple tasks around that insulated cylinder uh, is, is fantastic. And what it does really do is, and, and I commend, how long ago did you invent the product? When did you make the first one? Uh, the first one was made about two and a half years ago. Okay. Uh, I, I actually applied for a patent. Okay. Uh, it was uh, two years and 10 months ago. And I actually got approved for my patent on Tuesday. Okay. Oh, congratulations. Tuesday. Congratulations. Awesome. So going forward, you know, the idea of families and fishing and uh, the Emerald Coast, I mean, that's a big part of what this community is about. And you told us brief show that you've been coming down here to the Emerald Coast from Oklahoma about six years or so. Is that correct? Yeah. And, and yeah. what do you what were you, what do you do normally in Oklahoma before you became this uh, inventor and now patent holder? I am a fireman in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, I coach baseball for Sand Springs High School. Awesome. And I actually own a few rental properties in Sand Springs as well. So you're an entrepreneur at heart. And of course, people know me. They know baseball is near and dear to my heart. So that means you're super intelligent if you can make baseball <laughs> the center of all this because that's... Uh, it's a spiritual game to me, uh, but nonetheless, so I commend you on the fact that that product has such a potential to bring a lot of people together. I'm going to propose to you right here in front of RJ. And I've got his website up here. So yeah, there's a website. The chill, so you can see the product. Chill and real. We're, we, one we haven't word, worked out com. sponsorship yet, but I see in the future, I'd yeah. like to have a Multiple chill and, colors to work with. I'd like to see a And a t-shirt. I'd like to see a chill and real fishing tournament. At Crab Island. That's an awesome idea. I know it's an awesome, awesome idea. I've sponsored tournaments out of Crab Island before. All right, we're going to do that. What's <laughs> up, Emerald Coast is going to sponsor. We should sponsor. So if we get everybody, get a lot of, get a lot of, not necessarily kids, because it's it's one size, one one chill and reel fits all, correct? For the most right. part, yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to have a kids element. We have to have the adults, and uh, but we'll pick up pick an afternoon since <laughs> you're going to be down here, and we need to have a chill and reel tournament. And uh, a little fishing tournament. I think that would be fantastic, man. It's a uh, what an it, um, we're honored to have you on the show. That's a uh, uh, just looking at the picture of it. I guarantee you, there there's, are people your, right now. Kids element right you there. know you have a great product <laughs> when people are staring at the screen, going, "God dang it, why didn't I think of that?" <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you got to you got to imagine a way in. And I am one. Imagine a way in for this fish, right? <laughs> That's you know what? a postal it, scale. It can be done. <laughs> that is a there's the, the best part about that. The win in that is the smile on that kid's face. That's true. Doing that right I mean, there. I mean, I, I did that when I was a kid. And that it is a fantastic a thing. thing. So uh, the chill and reel comes along. Now, do you have any other aspirations for um, your invention skills? Or are you going to stay focused on chill and reel and accessories to go with it? Right now, it's just my main focus is on that. I okay. am, I'm too old to focus on anything else other than retiring and enjoying life on in this scenario. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so <laughs> I just I want I want to be able to to make it pretty well with this and enjoy fishing and hanging out at the beach for the rest of my life. So that you, sounds like I think pre-show cool you also said your son is uh, your social media tech guru. Is that correct? Yes. That's a wise, yeah. wise, wise choice. Always somebody younger than yourself that mm -hmm. knows a little more. Plus, probably has more time. He's probably sitting around not doing a lot. And so you gave him something to do. And that's a good fatherly uh, direction. So we need him down here so we can get that promoted. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to put it on crabisland.com too to get that out there that because uh, I, I got a guy on crabisland.com yep. and uh, I'm excited to, because having you on the show on a Friday afternoon going into summertime, man, you are a welcome bit of relief in yeah. this post-pandemic life. Uh, I'm glad you took the time out to be on the show with us, my friend. I, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad I reached out to you. Thank I'm glad you. you reached back. 
Thank you. So when you're down here, when you're down here, make sure you reach out to us, and we're going to get this. Uh, we're going to we're going to have some fun promoting the Chillin' Reel. I think mm -hmm. it's a great a great little product. Now that I've heard the story behind it, you're uh, quite a interesting character yourself, being a fireman and an inventor mm -hmm. and an entrepreneur. So uh, look forward to having you at, along the Emerald Coast and becoming part of our community more and more all the time. You're the kind of people we need down here, and we love to have you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. It's, right uh, on. Got any last words fun. you want to? You, anything last words you want to say about the future of the chilling reel? Man, just reel them in cold. There, <laughs> just just fade out the show right there. there it is. Fade it. out the show. And, All right. And a toast to that. <laughs> we appreciate you coming. Uh, you coming on board, and we'll talk to you later. Feel free to hang out if you want. That is mind. fantastic. I love talking to you, man. What a way to go out on a Friday, RJ. Yeah. Uh, we talking about some cold beverages, Crab Island people being rational. Yep. Giving them something to do with a chilling reel. Okay. I see the future of a fishing tournament out there. Oh, I think I love that. I idea. love the fact that he said. He didn't want to get, you know, he got would have gotten scolded. Some locals told him if he had had a fishing rod out there because I've been one of those people going, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Too many boats, too many props. And it's, so, and it's very easy to carry It's anywhere. a little more subtle and you're actually you, fishing right you in front of you. You can actually reach in for the beer and reach in for your reel. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I'm just looking at them as a guy who loves to fish and uh, and, and a guy that's been around the alcohol business for all pretty much all his life. Mm -hmm. The fact that he put those two pieces together and to put it out at Crab Island, I'm, I'm flattered that the Emerald Coast is where his inspiration kind of came all together and he wants to be down here to visit it makes a lot of sense it and does. uh as silly as it can sound and you can laugh about it it still makes a lot of practical sense and to me that makes for a fun product um the one thing we didn't ask him what's it say up there oh, they're only 12 dollars. i mean you're talking yeah you cool. mean you gotta buy a six pack you gotta I, buy a six pack of them that, he's shaking uh, his head yeah, yeah please buy a six pack buy a case i'm surprised the bass pro shop i bet you there's like a case deal I mean, there's gotta Walmart be a case deal so uh, you can walk out with a handful of chilling reels and the whole everybody on the pontoon boat is now fishing and you got your own little family tournament. So like every little place that rents out a boat could probably be selling those. And he, it would it would probably and make his day. He told me it's all made here in the United States. There we go. That's nothing perfect. Nothing to do with China at all. What so. a good, look, look, there it is. There, he's <laughs> got the minute, display. Minute, pull that up. There we go. That's, <laughs> that's it. You'll be seeing that next that, time you are That is beautiful. <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely perfect, man. Nice work. Thanks yeah. for being on the show. Yeah. He's, he's ready to go, man. That's awesome. Yeah, well, let's You might as well just move. Bring that fifth wheel down here. Let's go, man. Let's get busy. It's going to be a good summer. Wait, he's going to... It, He's this moving. Is air national. We're gonna, our our awesome. show's going to go national with this. RJ, with what this a product. fun show. That, that, that yeah. show went by quick. I mean, it went right really quick. There's two things I want to uh, bring up. It's June 1st coming up. It's the beginning of hurricane season, but it's also the it's beginning of the week-long hurricane tax preparedness, tax-free week. So That's too serious. You get mad at me talking about poli politics and everything, and... You know, no one wants to hear about no. hurricane stuff right now. But you can, you can, Damn you can it. buy stuff without paying Damn taxes. Damn it, RJ, for it. That's why? That's a positive thing. I, okay, fine. Yeah, it is tax free. That is a good point. That that is really good. I'll so give you points. It, it is generators it is, or batteries. You know, I can't tell or, people to stay rational else. if I can't remind them that it's you know hurricane season's coming. And you know our luck. You know, you know we're gonna get. We were gonna. Everybody says that. You know we're due for one. That's what everybody says. Yeah. And all this drama we've had. So, yeah, go get prepared for the hurricanes. We don't have to listen to it. Yeah. And get then, your chilling reel because when you got nothing to do after a storm, you know the, there's nothing better. The fish love it. The, after a storm, fishing's fantastic. Everything's all stirred up. Everything is it's, they, it's they, beautiful they, It's like fishing. food galore for them. I mean, I've been here 30 years, and so it, we can go back and forth with fishing conversations. And, mm -hmm. and, and I can't wait. I can see him catching a cobia. Sitting in the tuna tower, and uh, it's gonna be. That's gonna be. I just want to videotape that I, I, because it's gonna make him rethink the commercial application, I, and that's gonna. I, I'm his, gonna have the drone. He's not gonna let go. You're of gonna it. do it on a drone. And he's gonna go flying. Around. No, he won't. He's too strong. He's <laughs> fireman. He knows how to hold onto a tower. I guarantee you, he'll be. He'll be perfectly. See, we can do. He's still laughing because I got jokes for days, man. We're gonna have a good time. So everybody, so, all right. Thanks uh, for the great show and, today. Uh, and of course, if you're like the geek like me and you missed that, that, that hated that 17 minutes before the countdown on Wednesday, the SpaceX got canceled because oh, weather. You had me. You're doing it's a drone. It's rescheduled. Yeah, that's it's Saturday. rescheduled for tomorrow. Yeah, 3:33 p.m. Central Time. So yes, for you all had me a drone there. while he's fishing. And I'm joking him. You're going to be flying a drone to film it. That yeah. is the geek in you. That, that would be me. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, I, so. I love an opportunity to fly. It's there we go. so much fun. All right. All right well, you guys have a safe and happy and enjoyable weekend. And all my friends Enjoy out there, the stay Coast. rational. Stay rational, people. Take care. <laughs> all right.